God's financial system and the world's financial system. You need to understand that we live and operate in the world, but we are not of the world. There is God's financial system and there is the world's financial system. That you live and you do business in the world does not mean you have to operate by the world's financial system. Follow me closely now. The world's financial system is a distortion of God's financial system. Always remember that the devil does not have an original idea. The devil is not creative in nature in the sense that nothing originates from the devil. All the devil does is to distort what God has created. So, the world's financial system is a distortion of God's financial system. God's financial system is superior to the world's financial system. John chapter 1 and verse 5, from every translation you can read, it says the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehends it not. A translation says the light shines in darkness and the darkness has not been able to overcome it. You need to understand that the light shines and the darkness operates at the same time. It is in the physical that when you turn on the light that you eliminate darkness. Spiritually speaking, light and darkness operate okay, simultaneously. But what the Bible says is that the light shines even in the midst of darkness and darkness cannot do anything about it. In other words, you may be the only person running God's financial system in your industry or in your family. It does not matter. God's financial system will always be superior to the world's financial system. So in the spiritual sense, you are not a minority even if other people are not doing what you are doing. Because the challenge we, we're dealing with as believers nowadays is how that the moment five of them, six of them, eight of them are against one of you, you, you buckle, I mean, you back off and you think they must be right since they agree. No. The light shines in darkness. The objective of the light is not to extinguish the darkness. It is not the fact that the devil is not operating. That is, that, 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 that's how you know God is operating. No. The light shines in darkness. So let darkness surround you, but you will keep shining as light. Hallelujah. The light shines in darkness. That is the reason why the rod of Moses swallowed the rod of the magicians of Egypt. They are operating, you are operating, and sometimes it looks like we're doing the same thing. You are doing business, they are doing business. You have a job, they have a job. They are married, you are married. But you need to understand the system you operate is superior. It will always swallow up the system of the world. Let's look at what the Bible says. First Kings chapter 4 and verse 30 to verse 31. I'm saying this so that you can understand your heritage. You can understand what you have. First Kings chapter 4 verse 30 to 31 says, Solomon's wisdom was greater than the wisdom of all the men of the east. Can you see that now? They have something, but what they have is inferior to what you carry. Solomon's wisdom was greater than the wisdom of all the men of the east and greater than all the wisdom of Egypt. Verse 31 says, he was wiser than any other man, including Ethan the Ezraite, wiser than Haman, Calcol and Dada, the sons of Mahol, and his fame spread to all the surrounding nations. As a child of God, you need to know what you carry so that your expectation can be activated aright. If you are operating by God's wisdom, you need to realize what you run is superior to what the world is running. Hallelujah. So the problem is not that they are wise. Yes, they are wise. But if God's wisdom is what you are operating, you need to understand God's wisdom is superior. The world's financial system is based on money. Without money, nothing happens. But God's financial system is based on the blessing. So in God's financial system, a lot can be done without money. This is important. In the world's financial system, if you don't get money... In God's financial system, the absence of money, nothing missing, nothing broken. Because with the blessing, listen to this, you have the peace of mind to create value and to respond to challenges. By the way, what are challenges? Wealth in disguise. And so by the blessing, Joseph turned Egypt into a super economy without money. Check your records. Pharaoh did not give him money. He came up with an idea. And by executing that idea, in 14 years, every other nation had no choice but to do business with Egypt. So much that even Jacob, Israel, who carried the blessing, 
had to come under the canopy of Egypt because Egypt was operating under the blessing. God's financial system gives you the presence of mind. Let me give you some example. Isaac in crisis had the presence of mind to receive divine direction. You know, Isaac was in jackpot mode. Yeah, there was famine, okay, and so he left and he was going to go to Egypt, but he had the presence of mind to travel with seeds. Because you read your Bible, you like chapter 26 and verse, I mean chapter, yeah, chapter 26, huh? verse 12, and Isaac sowed in that land. Where did he get it from? He didn't pray to God for seeds. He had enough sense that wherever I'm going, this law of exchange will have to work for me. He had enough sense. Listen, Joseph prospered in Potiphar's house, prospered in prison, prospered in Pharaoh's court, all without money. Please, how did he get it? What did he use as qualification for getting the job in the king's palace? Don't let money stop you. What you can afford is not all you can afford. The money in your bank account now is not all the money that you can have access to. When, when a child, when somebody who is not a child of God sees a lady and, and is broke, he does not ask the lady out. When a child of God sees a lady he wants, he knows we don't do things with money here. We do things with the blessing. We create what people call money. Are you getting this now? Because you see, real money is not paper. Real money is value. You can create value. 